All right, hey guys, today I'm coming at you with my top four favorite saltwater fish for beginners, people who just set up their 5, 10, 20 gallon saltwater tank, saltwater aquarium, and are looking to get their first fish. Here are my top four. So coming in at number four is gonna be the damsel. It's a cheap, hearty saltwater fish. I actually have one right over here with the yellow and blue. That is one of the varieties of damsels. They come in a ton of different colors. Like I said, super hardy, will tolerate a good range of salinity as well as pH and they'll eat readily they'll eat pretty much any pellet food that will fit in their mouth they'll eat any frozen food that will fit in their mouth they are a little bit on the aggressive side though so that is why they're my number four is if you put them with some shy fish they might beat up or bully the shy fish but if you have them with other damsels or other semi-aggressive fish they will do great together my number three favorite saltwater fish for beginners is the firefish now I actually used to have one of these firefish but I encountered a little bit of an issue with him and he did pass away. Basically, these are a little bit bigger fish than damsels. Damsels tend to get more beefier while these guys tend to get long and skinny. And they're a great, great saltwater fish, extremely colorful. Will tolerate a wide range of salinity as well as all the fish on these lists will. They're a little bit shy, so they're kind of the opposite of a damsel. They're a little bit shy, they're a little bit territorial. They will eat a variety of foods. I got mine pretty much to eat frozen food as well as some pellets more than others. So they're a little bit more picky when it comes to food, a little bit harder to feed as they do like to just go ahead and hide. They are very territorial and very, very shy. That is why they are my number three. But if you have a tank with a ton of rock work for them to hide in, they'll become more outgoing. And if you have a group of three or four of these guys in different colors, which as you can see, there's tons of different colors, they are going to make a stunning display. My number two favorite saltwater fish is going to be the Chromis. And the reason why it's my number two and not my number one is because the lack of color variety. So Chromis are a lot like damsels, as you can see. They're super cheap. They're pretty much three to four dollars, which is I think the cheapest saltwater fish I know of. They're extremely hardy. They'll tolerate a very wide range of salinity. They'll eat almost any food. They are not aggressive at all, and they're a pretty color, but the only issue is, like I said, they only come in one color that I know of, and that's that greenish blue. So that is why they're my number two, but if you're looking for a fish to cycle your tank, or just a fish to add to your tank to see, you know, to make sure your levels are right, they're kind of like the bulletproof beginner fish, I'd say. But if you want a little bit more color, you should go with my number one fish, and that is the clownfish, okay? Everyone knows the clownfish, Nemo. As you can see, I have one, I love him. They're cheap, they're hardy, they'll tolerate a wide range of salinity, and they'll eat pretty much any food you put in there. Mine was a little shy at first, but he's become very, very outgoing. We'll eat pretty much any food I give to him, and it's just a pretty overall fish. You can get everything from the $13 basic clownfish I have to the $600 designer black, white, and orange clownfish. So they come in a very wide range of patterns and colors, but I would stick with the Ocellaris kind personally. Some of the other varieties of clownfish can get a bit aggressive. These guys are semi-aggressive, but I find they don't really do that much. Like he has not beaten up this damsel at all. They do chase each other around, but he's still barely mild as saltwater fish come. That is pretty much it for my top four. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about starting a saltwater tank, don't forget to drop them down below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.